Hello listeners and welcome to our English language program Daily Current Affairs Quiz. This is Raji Priyanka and without any further delay we begin our today's episode with our very first question. So the first question for today's quiz is Which of the following company has selected L&T Technology Services Limited LTTS as its strategic engineering partner? The correct answer for the question is A Airbus L&T Technology Services Limited a leading pure play engineering services company has announced that under a multi year contract it has been selected as a strategic engineering partner to Airbus for providing advanced engineering capabilities and digital manufacturing services Now let's move forward to question number 2 Which of the following bank has sold its entire 40% stake in Commercial Indo Bank LLC CIBL to State Bank of India SBI The correct answer for the question is B Canara Bank Canara Bank said that it has entered into a share sale agreement to sell its stake in Commercial Indo Bank LLC CIBL Moscow Russia with State Bank of India SBI CIBL is a joint venture in Russia between State Bank of India SBI which holds 60% stake while Canara Bank holds the rest 40%. Now let's move forward to question number 3. Which of the following state has announced a target to become the first green energy state by the end of 2025? The correct answer for the question is C Himachal Pradesh. Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu has recently announced the Himachal Pradesh government intends to make the state as the first green energy state by the end of 2025 by harnessing hydro, hydrogen and solar energy and switching to green products. Now let's move forward to question number 4. To commemorate the birth anniversary of which of the following freedom fighter the Parakram Divas is celebrated in India The correct answer for the question is C Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose January 23rd is celebrated as Parakram Divas to commemorate birth anniversary of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. The decision was taken in 2021 to honor the contributions of Bose towards India's freedom struggle. Now let's move forward to question number 5. Who among the following was appointed as the Director General of Directorate of General of Civil Aviation DGCA? The correct answer for the question is A. Vikram Dev Dutt. The Appointments Committee of the Cabinet has approved the appointment of Vikram Dev Dutt as the next Director General in the Directorate of General of Civil Aviation DGCA. He will take over as the head of the Aviation Regulator on February 28, 2023. Now let's move forward to question number 6. Dash along with Hindustan Unilever launched a plastic waste management initiative. The correct answer for the question is B UNDP. The United Nations Development Program UNDP with Hindustan Unilever Limited HUL launched a campaign to drive an inclusive circular economy as part of its initiative to promote sustainability. The initiative focuses on end-to-end management of plastic waste by promoting the segregation of waste at source, collection of the segregated waste. Now let's move forward to question number 7. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has named how many islands of Andaman and Nicobar Islands after the Paramveer Chakra awardees? The correct answer for the question is C. 21. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has named 21 islands in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands after Paramveer Chakra awardees. Earlier, Union Home Minister Amit Shah lauded the initiative to name the 21 islands and said this effort will be a source of encouragement for the country's armed forces. Now let's move forward to question number 8. After raising 350 million dollars from General Atlantic, which of the following company recently joined India's Decacorn Club? The correct answer for the question is C, PhonePay. Payments and Financial Services Unicorn PhonePay has raised 350 million dollars in funding from General Atlantic, a leading global growth equity firm, at a pre-money evaluation of 12 billion dollars and joined Decacorn Club, making the Walmart-owned startup the most valued financial technology fintech player in India. Now let's move forward to the ninth question. 
Which of the following organization has inaugurated the first STEM innovation and learning center in Chennai? The correct answer for the question is D. American India Foundation The American India Foundation AIF inaugurated India's first STEM innovation and learning center SILC under the scheme of Vanavil Mandiram at the Government Higher Secondary School MMDA Colony Chennai Now let's move forward to the 10th and last question of today's quiz Who among the following won the women singles final in the India Open Badminton Championship The correct answer for the question is B and Seong In India Open Badminton Championship Korean sensation An Seong won women singles final at the KD Jadhav Indoor Stadium in New Delhi In finals An Seong beat world number 1 Japanese Akane Yamaguchi by 15-21 21-16 and 21-12 So with this we have now come to an end of today's episode of Daily Current Affairs Quiz Please stay tuned for more learning This is your RJ Priyanka signing off for the day Thank you